Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. Today we're back with another cooking segment. We do these uh, fun cooking segments, whether it be um, just myself uh, doing some cooking and or with uh, Gavin. We like to share a lot of uh, cooking recipes and or, you know, just cook together as far as showing you the full uh, cooking techniques and overview of whatever it may be. Um, but today we're going to be doing uh, something a little bit different. We like to share recipes too. Of course, it's funny they call this uh, actual pretzel crack. Um, I'm sure probably YouTube will probably block it or something silly like that because it's uh, as crack in the name. Um, but basically, it's pretzels that you just get addicted to. <laughs> I mean, because they're so good. So what's what's um, really good about these is they're good for like games, sporting events, whatever you may be doing, especially now. Um, as the seasons come into the winter season, uh, especially where I'm at, there's a lot of uh, games and a lot of football games, uh, um, hockey, whatever whatever sport you guys may get into, or if you're just watching a movie and you just want to eat some pretzels. So these are actually really, really good. Um, easy to make, and I wanted to go over the recipe and some of the things that where people make mistakes uh, within making these and the products. Now, you don't need a real high-end uh, pretzel, you know, manufacturer or anything like that. Uh, you know, I mean, you could just, you could just get the discounted pretzels at the store, and these will taste pretty much basically the same. Um, I've tried all different kinds of different pretzels. Actually, the stick pretzels are the best um, as far as coating them and getting them all coated. But I want to cover with you what's included with the recipe, and we'll switch right over to the recipe. So the recipe is basically consists of you know, depending upon you know if you want to cook a lot of pretzels this is just basically on 16 ounces of pretzels and if you have a big party you can cook a lot more if you have the room space in your stove um but it'll basically go over all the ingredients and we'll put a link of course below to share this recipe um that we have found through um heartland uh, cooking we do a lot of you know google searches like you guys out there for cooking and we add our own you know spices or whatever it may be to the recipe to try to change it up a little bit um, but this is their recipe um, one a teaspoon of a cayenne pepper and the teaspoon of lemon pepper and I mean you can go down through and read all this but the biggest thing that I wanted to cover is is the cooking technique um, and the mixing and preparation uh, just make sure you get it right so we'll go down to the instructions as far as the uh, directions on how to um, you know basically prepare this and cook this uh, it, the best thing to do is, like it says, you know, put them, in, put all your ingredients into a bag and make sure it's, you know, uh, a good, durable bag. Uh, once you get all your your ingredients all ready, you put it into a bag and then you make sure to, um, I would say, to shake it over the bag. They they say to, uh, you know, pour the spice mixture over the pretzels in the bag. I would just, you know, you can do either or. You can put all the spices into the bag or however you want, but just make sure the big thing is, is making sure you have a good bag to shake it and or don't break all your pretzels when you're shaking it. So just make sure it's mixed really well. That's where uh, one big mistake comes into play. Now, another big mistake that comes into play is your ovens. Now, I've been cooking for, you know, quite some time and I had worked at uh, several different restaurants as far as uh, as a, as a chef and a cook. And you'll realize, I mean, many of you out there that are, you know, cooks know that electric stoves are a lot different than gas stoves. So make sure, depending upon what stove you have, if you have a gas or an electric, uh, make sure, especially with gas, it does cook a lot quicker. Um, and sometimes the degree point, you might have to, you know, kind of tweak a little bit, turn up, turn down. You just, these are just some tips that I wanted to let you know. I mean, it, it all depends on, you know, your oven make too. I mean, so just keep an eye on them because it does say to bake them for at least 40 minutes. So it might be more, might be less, depending upon your stove. Um, it does say, like I said, as I said, 40 minutes. But once they're done, I would let them cool down. Sometimes people like to eat these warm, uh, but I would just let them cool down. Um, and then, of course, then you then you serve them. So they're ready. So we just wanted to share this recipe with you. There will be a lot more recipes and a lot more cooking segments up and coming. Uh, we try to do these maybe once or twice a month. So be watching out for those. Make sure you do like and subscribe and you'll get notifications to any of these or any of the videos that we're putting out. We'll see you on the next video.